close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slowly release the breath. Take another deep breath, filling your belly all the way. Slowly release the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Continue to take a few more full, deep breaths. Quiet your mind and focus on your breathing. Now imagine yourself when you were a very young child. Imagine standing back and observing this child as if he or she is separate from you. Allow yourself to get a sense of the child within. You'll know the child is there by the way that you feel. Attribute all your feelings to this child. The child may feel sad, anxious, angry, afraid, grief, helplessness, hopelessness, and many other things. Your task is to care for this child now through your real, authentic, loving, wise adult self. It is your responsibility to give this child the emotional support they've been needing and to meet their needs. Only you can provide the nurturing that the child needs. It cannot come from anyone else. I know you may not feel adequate right now, but I promise you, you will as you keep showing up for that child. You will gain the confidence and the skills you need along the way. To help you now, imagine an adult version of yourself that is the best version of yourself. This part of you is ageless and timeless. It is wise. It is discerning. It is full of love. Perhaps you've recognized this part of you when you've been at your best. Allow this part of you to care for that child. Your real self would never lie, make overblown claims, or break promises to little you. Your real self would never belittle a child or shame them. Your real self can hold space for feelings without any judgments. Your real self is capable. Remember this. Now place your hand on your heart. Either in your mind or in a soft voice, talk to the child from your wise adult self. I'm here now, little one. What do you want to tell me? Listen for the child's response. If this is your first time talking to the child, they may not trust that you are really going to listen or that you care. Gently urge the child. I care about you, little one and I want to know how you're feeling. Accept all of the feelings, even the powerfully negative ones. Keep encouraging the child to share with you. Remember, you are a strong, wise adult. Do not get upset with the child if they try to shame you or if they're angry at you. Instead, empathize with any feelings that they are sharing with you. Invite the child to sit on your lap. If they'll let you, welcome them into a warm embrace. Imagine giving them a hug, stroking their hair or cheek. Whatever would make little you feel safe and comforted. Then say to your child, I understand why you're feeling that way. I'm here now. I know I haven't been here for you in the way that you've needed, and I'm sorry but I'm going to be here now. I will never abandon you, little one. I will always be with you. I will be with you for the rest of our lives. I'm sorry you've been hurting. You're safe with me now. 
I will protect you from now on. You're okay, little one. I'm here. Everything will be all right. Together we can make it through the hard things. You are so strong and capable. Tell me what things you need. I will do my best to meet those needs. You are so precious and special to me, just as you are. You don't have to do anything or look any way. You are already so worthy and deserving of love. You matter so much to me. I will always choose you. I will listen to you. You can share whatever you're feeling with me. I want to know. I care about you so much. I love you. Come back to the present moment. Open your eyes whenever you're ready. It is your adult self who needs to validate the inner child's feelings and provide all that he or she needs. A sense of safety, to be seen and known, comforted, reassured, supported in exploration, belonging and love, to be admired and listened to, to be relieved of guilt and burden. Make sure that you stay separate from the child, allowing them to express their feelings and you giving them what they need. Do not allow the roles to get reversed. You do not have to meet unreasonable demands. He or she is only a child, frightened of being alone and going with unmet needs. You can firmly and kindly explain why some things can't happen. Keep practicing and going back to the child, giving them the love supplies that they have been desperately needing. Remember, the process sometimes takes a great deal of effort. Finding ways to relate to a needy child is a real challenge. You may have to summon all of your patience, but keep gently pushing, keep asking questions, keep showing up, keep showing how much you care. Little you can easily feel abandoned. Make sure that you're showing up more often. This means talking to little you on an ongoing basis. This dialogue between big you and little you offers you a way out of the internal pain. It is the fastest way to quell your anxiety and strengthen your adult self to become emotionally self-reliant and in command. Only you can make you feel safe and secure. Big you to little you.